of Santa Ana College News. I am Nancy Cruz. And I am Jorge Arguello, and we begin with this week's top stories. Santa Ana College is putting on a dance performance called Dance Watch. Organizers say the dance will honor the military. In addition to the dancers, there will also be a poetry reading from a SAC professor. The choreographers hope their concert will, be remi will remind the people to stand together and honor each other. There will be three performances ending on Saturday. For more information, visit the page on your screen. There were a number there were a number of events for breast cancer prevention and awareness over the past few months, or past few weeks. Reporter Nancy Cruz has the details. Last month, Susan G. Komen teamed up with Norgate Supermarket to offer free mammograms for the community. So we're seeing women who are 40 or older, uninsured, legal status doesn't matter. We really want to bring a service to the community because the women don't come to us. So the partnership with Northgate is great because this is where they live. We come to them. There's a, you know, um, high-tech mobile unit that we bring. So that's why we're here. And, you know, in Orange County, every day five women are diagnosed with breast cancer and every, every day a woman dies of breast cancer. So it's really high statistics. And here to the right, we have the latest machine and technology that is used to um, get uh, mammograms on the women that come here today I want to tell all the women out there, don't be afraid. This is a good service Susan G. Komen is offering the community. Free mammograms to prevent cancer. That's why I'm here today. My main motivation is my mother. She struggled with cancer and fought it. Now she is cancer free. Today was the first stop. But keep on being healthy, taking care of yourself. Let's fight cancer. Log in to SusanComenOC.com for free mammograms and to see more information. From Buena Park, this was Nancy Cruz for Santa Ana College News. It's really important to check yourself and always prevent. You never know. I agree. There was a lot of people there that day when I went and wow. a lot of people testing for awareness. Great event, definitely, indeed. Yes, yeah, so. Beer and cheese were the main attraction at O's Fest. And our Jetzel Gonzalez has more on this cheesy story. <laughs> the second annual O's Fest kicked off on 4th Street in Santa Ana. This festival had tons of delicious cheese creations and beer. There were over 30 vendors from a variety of areas and live entertainment. All roads were closed off on four blocks to meet the demand for capacity. Um, so we have the marketplace section, which is the $5 ticket. Um, that's pay as you go, so you could come in for as little or as long as you'd like and eat as much as you want. But we also sell a VIP ticket similar to the one we did last year. Um, that section is exclusive. That doesn't start till 5, so it's a little less time, but that's all you can eat and drink. And those are completely separate vendors, so different food items, different beer than there are in the marketplace. A portion of all tickets went to the charity Inspire Artistic Minds, which helped people in the art industry receive scholarships. In Santa Ana, Yetzel Gonzalez, SAC News. Visit inspireartisticminds.org to see where this year's Oozfest money is going. There is also more information on what the charity is up to. Folks who are interested in adopting a bunny should hold up down, should hop down to the OC Animal Shelter. A surplus of bunnies means free bunny adoptions, not including the $17 microchip in. Qualified bunny lovers can find more info about the Bun Nansa at the shelter's website or head straight to the shelter across from the outlets at Orange on the City Drive. Santa Ana College Music professors teamed up for a concert focused exclusively on one instrument. Our reporter Rudy Garcia has more of the piano extravaganza. As rehearsals for tonight's performance get underway, the sound and skill of Santa Ana College's music professors filled Phillips Hall. For award-winning music professor Jun Wan Jin, teaching and performing are some ways she helps her students. A lot of students here come in from um, quite an humble backgrounds and they don't know what it is like to be a musician, um, a, you know, the, in the pianist. And they actually say, oh, that's what you normally do. 
that's what you do. So actually showing them what, what it is like to be a musician, so that's very important for me to, to, to show them. Performing for her students is one technique she learned while studying music herself. And I went to her concert, every, almost every concert she played. So that, that really inspired me to become a pianist. And you know, kind of copying and imitating. imitating. Yeah, I think that's very, uh, very, it was very inspiring and it's very valuable to me. And now she's setting the stage and inspiring future performers and even some teachers. I can see it when she in the class, she's very friendly and very helpful with the student. And when she perform on stage too, everything she's the, just like a role model to us, to the student. This role model has one more note for anyone working towards a goal. Is anything you do will be very difficult. You have to find the, um, the, the, the profession that you love to do and then you will make it anyway. You can do everything, um, but as long as you have a dream and you have persistence, you have focus, you're gonna make it. From the Piano Extravaganza in Phillips Hall, Rudy Garcia, Santa Ana College News. Visit the webpage on your screen for more on the music department. They've posted information on upcoming performances and events. Santa Ana College's Digital Media Center celebrated its 10th anniversary today. The Digital Media Center houses the college's television and media communication department, digital music, and digital media arts, along with a business incubator for businesses that work in the digital space. The celebration kicked off with opening remarks from Gustavo Chamorro, and SAC News reporter Adan Servin had the honor of speaking to the guests that attended. The event included tours, presentations, and information about how the facility has created 200 jobs. Stay tuned for next week's full story on SAC Noticias. Donors decided to strike out in support of the typhoon victims in Vietnam. SAC News reporter Adan Servin has a striking story. A strike, a tournament, and a whole lot of love raised some money for Vietnam. Love Across the Ocean held its fifth bowling tournament part the fundraiser at Westminster Lanes. The nonprofit built schools in rural areas of Vietnam and also provides humanitarian aid. Uh, today was the second tournament that we've done this year. Normally we only do one a year. Uh, we decided to do another one because people were asking about it, which means people are really having fun. This year's fund actually raised money for some of Vietnam's recent flooding due to Typhoon Sarika. Vietnam actually prays for another typhoon a couple weeks ago. 100,000 homes underwater, at least 20-something people killed last time I checked. Uh, but right now what people... All the proceeds that were raised here at the event will go to the victims of the flooding. For more information on how to donate, you can visit Lado's website at loveacrosstheocean.org. In the city of Westminster, Adan Servin, Santa Ana College News. Santa Ana College's student-run newspaper, El Don, has won the National Pacemaker Award. This is one of the most prestigious honors in college journalism. The Associated Collegiate Press and College Media Association handed out awards last month in Washington, D.C. The El Don's former co-editor, Jose Servin, was also recognized as the Reporter of the Year. Only three college journalists in the country earned this honor. This marks the 22nd time the Santa Ana College newspaper has won this particular award. On the first Saturday of each month, local artists gather in downtown Santa Ana for the city's art walk. At this month's walk, the Santa Ana College mural team sets up shops on the brick wall of historic buildings where art is enthusiasts pass by admiring the displays. Students created pieces with spray paint and traditional mediums. The art focused on celebrating people who are no longer living. This, this included a tribute to the victims of the mass shooting in Orlando. Another piece focused on the life of the late boxer Muhammad Ali. Members of the mural team took a break from their creations to answer questions about the work in progress. Students work late into the evening, adding that final layer to make their pieces
To see their work clo up close, follow Sax Murals on Instagram to find out about their next event. And that is going to do it for us here on SAC News. We will be back next week for our last Spanish show of this semester. In the meantime, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook for the latest Santa Ana College news or Orange County news. Also, check out our YouTube for our past shows. Any questions or comments, email us at sacstudentnews at gmail.com. And don't forget to tune in for a special edition of Santa Ana College news after the Thanksgiving break. <laughs>